One of the most beautiful spring flowers is the columbine. There are between 60 and 70 species of columbine, all in the genus Aquilegia. And many of these are grown in the garden as well as several hybrids. Columbines are found in woodlands, meadows, and alpine areas throughout the northern hemisphere. And what really sets them apart is their distinctive flowers. Um, they're somewhat bell-shaped, and if you look closely, we have um, the outer petals. These are actually sepals, not petals. And then there's the inner petals here. And a lot of times the petals and the sepals are a different color, so you get some really interesting combinations. Uh, but what, what's really spectacular is the way that the petals are elongated into this spur. And at the base of the spur is the nectary. And you can just imagine from the shape of this that this is an ideal flower for hummingbirds and butterflies. Uh, and in fact, the red columbine, Aquilegia canadense, is a favorite of hummingbirds. And it's one of the first foods, uh, first nectar sources available to hummingbirds when they arrive in the spring as they migrate north. And you also find a number of uh, moths, such as the sphinx moth, feeding from them. In Oklahoma, columbines do really well in a shady woodland type uh, habitat. They do tolerate full sun, but it gets so hot and dry during the summer that they would benefit from at least an afternoon shade. Now, they have a deep tap root, so they're fairly drought tolerant, um, but the shade would help a lot. If you're going to put them in a sunnier spot, you'll want to give them a little bit more water. Plants, depending on the species, grow from one to about three feet tall, and they all are about one, one and a half feet wide, and they have this bushy, upright habit. And the flowers can be nodding like this, nodding downward, and in some species, they're more upright. The flowers also, this, the plants will self-sow, and so you'll find a lot of seedlings like this growing up around the parent plant. And um, you can remove these if you want, or one, the plants themselves aren't very long lived. So after you've had them established for a few years, you might want to go ahead and let some of these seedlings grow up and eventually they can replace the parent plant when it dies out. Columbine is a beautiful spring flower and it makes a wonderful addition to your woodland garden, your rock garden, or to a shady border. It's time to hill the potatoes that we planted earlier this season. And what hilling is, is basically just pulling the soil up around the plants. And hilling, it's critical to good tuber development. What it does is create a space around the plant where the tubers can develop. And it's a nice, loose, rich soil uh, that will keep, prevent the tubers from being deformed. And uh, usually you can use the soil, if you have your vegetables planted in a vegetable, or your potatoes in a vegetable garden, you could just pull the soil up from the rows, but because I'm planting in more of an ornamental setting, I'm going to just go ahead and add a little extra soil so I don't have to pull it up. Now we want to hill when the plants reach a height of around 8 inches or so, and we're going to pull the soil up halfway up the stems, and you're going to do this through the whole row. Now you're going to need to hill again in, oh, another two to three weeks. Again, pulling the soil up another three or four inches. So it'll be another about halfway up the stem, stem again. And then we're going to want to do it one more time uh, about two weeks after the second hilling. And that time you'll only really need to add about an inch or two to the hill. And what we're going to, what, what we want to do is not only create a nice space for the tubers to grow, but we also want to protect them from sunlight. When sun strikes the tuber, it causes it to turn green and produce glycoalkaloids. And those glycoalkaloids can be toxic, especially if they're consumed in a large amount. Some people are also allergic to them. So even after your third hilling, you'll want to check periodically. And if you see the tubers uh, coming up over the hill, you want to go ahead and add a little bit more soil and just check them throughout the season, make sure that they're protected from the sun.